Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan. As you can see, we are here on August 1st. And our peas and lentils are ready for harvest. So I already went ahead and made a course play course for field 51 here for our grain head. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to combine our way in here to this starting point and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, get that guy a rolling so we're gonna let him do his thing uh, over here we have our 9380 hooked up to the Kinsey 1051 cart um, and if we go down over here, I have our Westfield auger set up on the bin. I got the Batco drive over uh, set up on the auger with the 863 Bobcat running that. And then we got the 4755 running our auger. And over here is our Freightliner and our Jetco hopper trailer. So we got everything ready to rock and roll. So we're going to kind of just ride along with uh, the combine here and uh, see what we can see. Looks like our uh, peas are not doing too bad here. And uh, we do need to update this guy here rolling is done <clears throat> and we can put spraying as done because we didn't need to do any spraying beans that we plowed our fields this first year so we got all that ready to go Let's go ahead and take a look at our precision farming map here. So it looks like we're doing pretty good. So between, and for the most part, it's about 100% for our yield so far. So that is definitely good. And our combine just hit 50%. So peas are definitely doing fairly well. So we had a couple of little weeds down there, but nothing major. We're going to get out of his dust here. So, definitely interesting. Um, I personally have never been around peas or lentils. Um, I My grandfather used to do flax and canola. I know canola for sure. I think they did flax as well. But that was before I remember anything, I guess. So it's definitely kind of neat to see these uh, different crops. <clears throat> so the combine's got about 24 minutes on it uh, to go, and he's at 75%. So let's go ahead and we're going to, oops, wrong screen here. We're going to grab our cart tractor here. We're going to see if he's going to be able to make it all the way over here or not. He may not make it. He is already at 82%. So I think we're going to have to, sadly, um, we're going to have to run all the way around the field to get, get to him. Yeah, he's at 85%. He won't make it. So we're going to just do a lap around the field here I guess so 
was going to use the uh, 4755 on the cart, but then I kind of forgot that I needed it to... We needed something to run the auger, so we can put these peas in the bin. Turn our HUD off here, so that way... Oh, maybe he did get all the way. Oh, well. Maybe we should have waited, I guess. Oh, well. We'll just run around the field, I guess, anyways. Yep, he did make it. Well, shucks. Guess I <laughs> should have waited a minute. Oh, well. course he's going to want to go. Uh, shoot. And we are not going to be able to keep up with it with this tractor. So what we're going to do here is we're going to jump on over here. And we're going to go to our course place settings. This one here. Um, stop while I'm loading. Activate it. There we go. We're just going to set him to that for now because otherwise we will never get, never stay, uh, stay in line with this guy. With this tractor anyways. It's going to kind of kill our time a little bit. But, uh, I guess it is what it is. The driver is wearing no shoes. I see we have a lady driver as well. Perfect. So we've got 345 bushels on right now. Definitely not going to go filling that uh, bin there, but it'll give us a little something to sell, a little bit of money. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look here at the price uh, fluctuations here. So let's first off take a look at our peas. Peas are the best to sell in June, so those aren't going to get sold until next year. Along with the lentils. The flax is highest in January. And then our canola is in February. So we'll have to do a little bit of trucking this winter and then a little bit next summer as well. So let's just uh, jump back over here into the combine. I 
in all reality, I probably could have gotten by with uh, combining myself and then just dumping into the cart or into the, straight into the truck, but that's all right. I think our lentils will uh, end up doing ourselves. Uh, if I remember correctly, they aren't the highest of yielding. So we can uh, probably handle running them ourselves. One thing that I do need to pick up, though, that I was just thinking of is we are going to need a header trailer. Uh, we got a few different options here. Um, kind of thinking this easy trail cart here, or header trailer here. So we're gonna go ahead and pick that up, uh, just shy of 2,900 bucks, and we'll uh, get them to deliver that, because we are going to need it here for our next field. This header is just a little bit on the big side to be taking down the road. So I'm going to avoid that. So a header trailer is definitely needed. It's one thing that I had kind of forgotten about uh, when setting everything up here. So we're going to let him do his thing. Um, so our lentils are looking pretty good as well. So this field here is 7.34 acres. And then we got this one here is six acres. Flax is looking pretty nice. So this is 33.13 acres here. I'm assuming that's just this. Yeah, that's this field up here. So let's go take a look at this canola portion of the field, the southern part. Oh, okay, so that does show for both sections there. Our combine there is at 74%, so he's going to get filled up here soon. Hopefully we can at least get one full trailer out of this. We're definitely going to want to rent some land next season. Um, I was kind of thinking either field seven there or uh, maybe like 28, 29, one of these other fields over in here that are, they're a little on the smaller side, but they're not too terribly small. Um, we have 12, we got 10. We got 16 down over here. Uh, field 53 here, I don't think or 13, sorry. I don't think that would be too bad of a field. Even getting uh, field 3 here. 
or two. Um, let's look at so field two is three hundred and twenty four dollars a day. We could also probably buy that field two. It's only thirty two thousand. Uh, field three is sixty five thousand. So we could potentially just buy them as well. Um, so we may look into that as well. Now where has our combine gotten off to? He is down over there. And he is at 90%. So he's going to fill up here pretty quick. Might be able to get that little patch there, I guess. See if we can get the uh, auger out here. I'll just go ahead and unload them here quick. And he'll be good to continue on his way. Perfect. Oh, he's going to turn around again. Okay, let's get out of his way then. There we go. Perfect. So now we'll jump back over to it here. going to totally butcher that there but oh well we can always go back afterwards and clean up we're going to go back here and put him back at deactivated for stopping while unloading because we'll probably uh, unload him on the go on these uh longer passes here. For being a smaller field, it's actually not yielding too terribly bad, which is definitely good. So I think we'll be able to let him go back down to this end and get turned around again, then we'll unload him. So then I think what we'll do is uh, <coughs> we 
we will get uh, our peas done today, and then we'll probably get the lentils done in uh, next episode. And then we'll probably have a little bit of uh, swathing in the episode after that. Because we're going to swath our canola and our um, flax fields. Let's take a look here in the work plan. Does it show? Okay. And I think I saved our course play course incorrectly. Yes, I did. Whoops. I don't know why I keep thinking that this is field 51. When 51 is to the north of us here. I will have to uh, go in and resave it. Which I think we can actually do right now. Um, change mode. Delete entry. This one. Yes. Save course. F50. I'm not sure if I did that with any of the others. That's my bad. I don't know why I kept thinking that... Uh, 50 was where our uh, lentils are, but it is not. We're going to go ahead and uh, get down over here so we can unload him on his way down. And then we may go unload this. We'll see how full we are. Perfect. I think we might actually be able to, uh, well, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll dump this, because then I don't think that combine should fill up again. Oh, we're going to be right in his way, aren't we? Nope, okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to dump this into the truck here. then uh, we should be able to fit the rest of this in the combine. Oop. Let's not take out our truck here. So we'll get this dumped into the truck. I think we're only going to end up with a little more than half a truck load. Which is okay. We can uh, make do with it. 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring the auger down. And we're just going to go ahead and pull this guy back up into the yard. Because I don't think we're going to need it anymore. And then the dealership had brought our header trailer. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to bring the pickup over with that uh, trailer there. So that way we can get the header unhooked and onto that trailer once we get done. Alright, I'm going to just pull this guy right up over here, right where it's out of the way. That will work. And we'll shut him off right there. We'll double check. Yep, they did bring us our trailer. I kind of parked it in a dumb spot, but we can make do with that. is I don't think it's changed on this one we need to change our control for the uh, interactive controls here now. Um, let's hit save. Hmm. I guess it does not want to work going to unfold the uh, mirrors. Whoa. Hmm. Not too sure of what's going on with this truck here. It is acting like it is just sliding all over the place. Let's try resetting it once because something is definitely not right with it. Reset, yes. Okay. It's going to reset it right here. Let's try this again. If not, we may need to get a different pickup that actually operates correctly. Seems to be doing okay. So get this guy hooked up. And we'll pull it into our field. trailer kind of pulls a little bit wonky oh okay so yeah this pickup does not want to work correctly so hmm I've never had this issue before with this 
pickup. Not sure why I am all of a sudden. Well, in that case, we are going to just sell this pickup because something is clearly not right with it. Um, let's go to this. Sell, yes, okay. And then we're going to go ahead and get a different pickup. And I think we're going to go with... go with they're pretty much the same pickup just about so we got stock six seven performance tow performance street performance performance let's go with the stock wheel setup stocks all terrain stocks platinum stocks 2018 platinum 2020 lariat Liberty Forged, Hostiles, I think we're going to go with these Hostiles, they can look pretty nice on there, Front Bumper, Chrome, Paint Match, Main, Balance Paint Match, Full Paint Match, Ranch Hand, I like the looks of that. I think we're going to go with the ranch hand, rear bumper, chrome, paint match main, paint match plastic. Uh, we're going to go with paint match main, mirror caps, we'll do those, full paint match, toolboxes, weather guard, cam locker, Put a weather guard in there. Trim Lariat, King Ranch, Platinum. Let's go with a King Ranch. Rack. Um, do we want a back rack? Magnum rack. Let's go with a Magnum rack. Lights. Orange lights. White lights. Let's go with the white. Grill, chrome, paint match outer, full paint match. Let's go with paint matched. It always looks better. Attachers, none. Let's see, we got Reese Tribal, Hallmaster, Tribal and Gooseneck, Hallmaster and Gooseneck. Let's look here. So we got the Tribal. The Hallmaster. Let's go with the Hallmaster and Gooseneck. Oops, too far. Steps. No steps. Let's go without them. Custom lights stock. Custom tail lights. Custom tails and third brake. Morimoto heads. Ooh, those are pretty nice. Let's go all custom. Tint, tinted, let's throw some tint on her, exhaust, stock, flag, TSO, MVRP, fuel tip, swanky, we'll go with the MVRP, cab lights, wow this truck really does have a lot of options. Cab lights, we'll put them on. Track bars. Uh, let's go with a set of them. Bug visor, no. Headlight housing stock, paint match, ooh. Yeah, strobes, uh, no. We don't need no strobes. Package FX4, remove, let's get rid of that, go light, <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to leave that off, we don't need a plow mount, 
foam door handle, paint match handle, paint match housing. Cool. Let's go with the handle paint matched. All right. What do we want for a color? King Ranch tan. Oh, whoa. No. Scarlet red. Silver birch metallic. Kind of like, kind of digging this color combo right here. Let's see what else we got. Woodland green. No. Ooh, blue metallic is pretty nice. Destroyer gray. Magnetic metallic. Harley, oh no. Harley black. Not even gonna look at the lime green because that's a definite no. Ooh, I like that blue. Deep blue. That does not even look blue. Oxford white. Now that's a nice color combo as well. Hmm. Blue jean metallic. I've always liked that color. Caribou. I'm thinking we're going to go with the silver birch metallic. I don't know. I do kind of like this combo, too. Or we can go with let's go Blue jean metallic for the two tone. We're gonna do no, definitely not white. Oops, wrong one. We want the two tone here. Shadow black. I'm not a huge fan of that. Oops, wrong one again. There we go. I kind of like that combo. Emblem. Do a black emblem. Is that a kind of neat? Accessory color. What does this change? Oh, okay. Changes our track bars. I like the scarlet red there. Perfect. All right. 43,507. Let's go ahead and buy that. And we're going to be sitting right over here. So I have not used this mod yet. Um, so let's see, what do we got? X, we got tailgate. So what are we moving? First of all, we need to shut off course play for this thing. Are we changing anything inside? No. We are not. Hmm. Interesting. This is a pretty uh, nice pickup, though. We're gonna run this over. Whoop. And apparently hit our tractor in the process. Did not turn soon enough there. Let's take a look at the lights. Ooh, yes. This is actually the uh, kind of pickup that I am looking into buying uh, in the next couple of months. A. Uh, 11 to 16 body style 67 power stroke just gotta get a little more money saved up first and then it's a matter of finding one that is in decent shape and is not uh, super high on mileage or price for that matter Oh, 
let's see, does this... Hmm. I cannot find anything that had adjust. So maybe it's for other options or something. So we're going to go ahead and grab this guy. We're going to clean up a couple of these little bits here that uh, he missed. Mainly these big ones. see a thing in there. We'll grab this strip here and then we'll go grab that uh, other piece over here that he missed as well. And then we'll be able to unhook this header, unload this combine, and then we'll get that truck dumped. And then... Uh, we will call it an episode. And perfect. So we will get this over here and on the trailer. And then we'll be able to take this header up to our next field. Boy, this header is bare, is definitely not uh, quite, definitely not quite the right uh, trailer for that header, but it is what it is. So we'll get this unloaded into our truck and uh, get that truck unloaded. We have exactly 200 bushels in our combine yet. I'm gonna throw them uh, good old hazards on here. will be pretty close to 70% from the looks of it. 60, about 68, 69% on uh, our truck there. We're gonna pull this guy right up over here to the side and go get this truck dumped. We'll see just what we got here. We got 1,154 bushels of peas. Ooh. And I saw that one coming. Oh no. Oh boy. And we got the truck stuck. That's a good way to do some uh, maintenance. Well. I guess uh, we're going to have to get a tow truck with this thing being fully loaded, or not quite fully loaded, but loaded. We're going to have to get a tow truck up here. So I'll go ahead and I'll give them a call. I'll get this truck dumped once we uh, get it back on the road. And uh, as soon as we get it dumped and we get ready for our lentils, then uh, we'll come back and uh, get to combining some lentils and hopefully we don't uh, have anything else like this happen. It's a good view of the mower. Not a good thing to happen. Alright, well, thanks everybody for watching. <laughs> Bit of an interesting end to the episode. And uh, yeah, we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you all for watching.